everybody, what's good? It is the real Nizi Nazmik, the MC with the Hennessy Schemes the Highest. Welcome back to another epic episode of Istanbul. You know what it is, of course. This is how we do it. You can definitely find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, your YouTube. It is what it is before it was what it was. Not forgetting your TikTok. But it's high. Yeah, I know. This time around. Hi, we are seeing the months of the months. Mjolo, the pandemic. You can definitely catch us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, your YouTube. It is what it is before it was what it was. On today's episode, yes, we have... Hey, I don't want to say. But of course, I would... This is how we're going to do it now. I would like for him to introduce himself. Definitely because we are going to go down on it. As in, let's take it away. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. I'd You're say, okay? I'd say like I love your drip. Okay. I'm not that top today, but I try. Okay, I try. okay. Well, um, I'm changing this thing. Instead of me introducing you, I would definitely like for you to give us a jam pack of who you are, what you yeah. do, where you're from, um, and why did you write to our show? Um, I'm like, okay, I'm say I'm from the South. And I stay in Natrina. And what else did you ask for? You can definitely start by sharing your name. Um, Ukukule Tungwen. Yeah, so that's my name. Sure. Ukukule Tungwen. Ngwen, Yeah, no. Okay, so you're definitely from the south. Yeah. And um, what do you do? Um, I'm actually studying tourist, tourism. Yeah, nice. For flight attendant. Nice. Yeah. And how is that going so far? It's, it's actually nice. I enjoy it. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. That's interesting, Gugu. Uh, Gugu, please kindly share with us. What are you doing here? I think uh, it's confession, basically. Yeah, just... So you're looking to confess? Yes, not looking to. I need to confess. You need to confess. <laughs> He needs to, so apparently it's been eating him up. Yeah, yeah okay. it, it, it has. Google, tell us, yes. what are you confessing and to who are you confessing? Okay, um, so I'm confessing to two girls I'm in a relationship with. And you just have to know how it started, basically. Google, are you sure about this? I feel like, you know, sometimes it's the best thing to do, you know, so that's why I'm coming up, you know, for those people who don't have that. Yeah, okay. So. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you and appreciate you for writing to our show called yes. East Table. Nah, no problem. And um, you want to introduce two people. Yes. To either of both. Yeah. And 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 how long have you been dating them? Um, It's actually been, it's a weird thing because it's like, it started the same, so I just say we both they both on like a four month relationship. Wait, wait. Yeah. So this is serious. So you're dating two people at the same time. Yes. You've dated them for four months. Yes. Each. Yes. You boss. You are <laughs> boss, and yet you are here looking to introduce them. Yes. That's super interesting. Have yes. you ever? Have you ever? <laughs> okay, so what are you looking to get out of this? Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to then introduce them uh, to each other? Mm. And then why is it that you want to have a relationship with both of them at the same time still? Um, okay, the thing is, having a relationship with both of them at the same time was not really going to end up, you know, perfectly. I knew from the beginning, but then at the same time, my feelings were very, you know, mixed to who is actually meant for me and who's not. But then it took a period of time of, you know, trying to figure out who okay, is all right, because, you know, getting into quick relationships is not, not nice. So, so, so you're saying that getting into uh, quick relationships is not on. Yeah. Mara ola kuku, you are dating them boy too. Yes, that's the thing. And I feel like funny bars, that's the thing. Because funny budget, because abazan. So okay. the whole point is to tell them how I feel about both of them and what's happening. Okay. Just to make things, you know, 
civilized. Yo, ay ay ay, ako inda ba hectic? He on fire, he on fire, he on fire, and it will not end here, but it's we are going to be going on to a quick break, and when we come back, this will call us, this will tete, and this will go loud speaker because I I I don't know what it is before it was what it was. Danko, stay tuned. Welcome back, Vafetu, to the show that makes things happen on CMTV. It is the show called Istembu. And, of course, you can catch us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, of course, your YouTube. Not forgetting the one, the only TikTok. Nibonile, Vafetu, before we went on to a break, Viz Kala, Viz Dedema, Ukuku was explaining, guys, I'm in a relationship with this person and this other person, five months, both of them, four months. Put it in the morning, every day in the morning. But of course, we are here to find out what exactly is happening. And <coughs> you need to stay tuned, Buffett, so you're still stuck with the real news in Asbic. The MC with the Hennessy skin size. La Lela. Just about now. Google, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure you want to do this? Positive. Are you going to be clear on your expectations? Okay. Google, this is a very serious matter, ne? It's it's serious, you know. We don't want other kids to be killing themselves and that's, killing that's each other. That's the whole point of being here, because you know, hiding things from a girlfriend, dating someone else, she can get to a point to go to Azbula because. Okay, yeah. so we are not promoting that, yes, ne? No. We are promoting peace and harmony. Yes. Can we bring them? Yeah. You wanted two girlfriends. What you do on the left, you do on the right. So so Right. So Mofetu, as you've heard, oh story is a kind of But of course we are not alone, Fanda. Of course, Ulendo Uzongena U Undombi. Dom is going to come in and we are going to give her a warm welcome. Hi, Ndombi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You're beautiful. Thank you. So, so are you. Glasses. <laughs> Just, you know, nerd vibes. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Ndombi, yeah, no, I would definitely like to know more about you, who you are, where you come from, what do you do, and how do you know this gentleman over here? Let's okay. That. I'm Ndombi. I'm a sales agent, yes. And how I met this wonderful gentleman. <laughs> I was in the mall in four ways and then he approached me and then, yeah. And then took me out on mm. a date. Sure, yeah, I know, that's interesting. So you guys met at the mall and then took you out on a date and the rest no. is history. History girl, the rest yeah. is history. That's interesting, <laughs> that's interesting. Why are you being intense? Why does it look like you're worried? No, I'm not. I'm just, you know, okay. rephrasing. Right. That's, that's definitely fine. What's going to happen in the future now? Mm, <clears throat> future already. Okay, no, that's fine. And um, don't be, since you are a, 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 um, a sales agent and you guys met at the mall, how would you, th and I mean, you guys went then on a date and from then onwards you guys started dating. Yeah. And apparently it's been like five months. Yeah, five months now. Okay, that's interesting. And how is your relationship going so far? Wow, it's actually, it's amazing. I'm loving it, you know. He's a great guy. He spoils me a lot. So, yeah. Hopefully, we take it to the next level very soon. So, hey, yeah. and what is this next level that we are talking about? <sighs> Moving in together. Mm hmm Hi. <laughs> I see you, girl. I see you, girl. Okay, that's interesting. And then... What what are your plans with Ukuku? My plans with Ukuku, you know, marriage, kids, big house. So fast, love. Are you sure? I'm hundred percent sure. Ukuku? Are you not ready for that? I was about to ask. Are you not ready for that? <clears throat> the thing is, we never talk about it. We okay, we have, but you know, I've always had that trick to just curve the situation. But I don't know, sure, that serious. Okay, so I mean, now you've gotten proof that she's actually very serious, yes. and which would then bring us to the main factor why we are here. <coughs> yes. Please kindly do share with everybody else, Zanzi, and your beautiful lady over here. 
tell her why she's here and what is the main reason? Um, okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. What is it? Can't you help me? Spike, what is it? Don't spike me or anything. Are you dying or something? Do you have cancer? What's wrong? I wish. I'm okay. joking. No, no. <laughs> okay, what is it? Um, well, in this five months relationship we've had, I, I had, I'd like there's someone who was involved. Actually, I wouldn't say was, actually is still involved in the relationship we have. So I might just say you are not the only one. Excuse me? What do you mean I'm not the only one? That's that's what so all I, our talks you're telling the same person the same thing. Not specifically the same thing. I wouldn't say I love. So who is this person? <coughs> How did um, you guys meet? We met at like um, what was this? So I think it was an art gallery. And yeah, and I art felt gallery. I felt lonely at the time because. What do you mean you felt lonely? I'm always there for you. You know, I know, but like there was just a certain time where it was just, I don't know, it, it, it struck me to, she got my attention and so I don't So I don't think, give you enough attention. I'm not enough no, for you. No, it's not. It seems it's like it's I'm not, not like enough that. for you. It's not like that. I just felt like she, she had some energy I needed at the time because you were what not around. What kind of energy? You were not around. That's what I'm trying to say. What kind of energy is she giving you that I'm not giving you? I can't explain it at the moment. You need to explain it right now to me. It's deep. <laughs> it's deep. It's definitely deep. I mean, <coughs> and what's so funny? Why are you laughing? No, the thing is, um, it's not funny. I'm just, I'm just. I feel like it was the right thing to. So it's here. the right thing to cheat. No, not cheating specifically. What I is feel it? Like the right what thing what would you to, call it? Okay, it is cheating, in a way. So it's the right thing to do. But at the same time, considering my emotions... Is it the right thing to do? how I felt, you know? Because you were never really interested about how I feel and certain things. So she understood me more in that way. And which way is that? Understanding me. In the emotional part. I don't understand you emotionally, really? Are you kidding me? I'd say you spend more time, you know, with your studies and school and, you know, but so I don't really get the time to spend and talk to you like you do. But that's what I have to do. I have to work, I have to go to school so I can better my future. Yeah. For I, the both I, of us, I not do, just for me. I do understand that, but I feel like at that specific day, I was going through a lot and she was just really there to listen to me. And the prob the problem was to say we friends, then it just escalated. I think this is the part where I need to then come in. Um, how do you feel about what he has said and his reasoning? How he's sharing that this person was there for him whenever, however, whichever way, and while you were there trying to secure the bag. Yeah. How are you feeling about this? How does this make you feel? I'm feeling hurt, betrayed, angry, upset. Like we've been together for five months. We've done everything together. I've been there for him through everything. Studies, you know, late nights. So I don't understand when he's saying, let's see, I haven't been there for him emotionally. So that's kind of like shocking to me. He hasn't said anything to me that, hey, I need you to be there for a certain thing. So. I feel okay. betrayed. All right. So do you feel that if he is supposed to say, I need you to be there for one, two, three, and four, um, would that better your relationship? Or what do you think are the things that can better your relationship? Is it communication? Is it... I think it's communication, yes. You think it's communication? Yeah. Okay. Let's give it to you then. Why do you think that um, communication <coughs> needs to then improve? Um... Because most of the time, I'd say, yes, she does say we spend a lot of time together and everything, but like, I'm not like mostly on like socials and talking and everything. Like, I, I like not having technology sometimes. So it's a thing of, um, I felt like 
when I didn't have that social media platform, as a lonely person, I was just out there trying to figure out myself and see how I'm going in the relationship and everything else. So at that time, her not really, I wouldn't say she wasn't really um, paying attention to what I'm going through, but then I don't think... How am I supposed to know what you're going through if you don't speak about it? I'm not really an open book, that's the thing. So I how do you expect I'm, I'm me to be there to... for you emotionally if you don't talk to me? I mean, I've told you everything, half my life, and you can't. So you want to tell some other girl. So you're open to some other girl, but not but me. But that's the thing. Really? It, it, it happened at a specific... What if I was, like, maybe um, so um, lonely, I was trying to a point where I... That's an excuse. ...opened myself to her, and she understood me better than you would. So you only open up when you're drunk? No, no, that's not the whole point. Do you believe in love at first sight? I do. Okay. That's what we experienced. Uh, this was love at that first sight. Kind. Yeah. Okay. Do you believe in love at first kind, uh, first sight? I never used to, but then she made me believe it, be, believe in it mm -hmm. when we met the first okay. time. Yeah. All right. Um. Before we even then go any deeper and, you know, because there are certain things that you have said that probably he did not understand at first and there are certain things that you're saying right now that, you know, did not definitely make sense to her. So we are going to then unpack that. Yeah. But before we do that, I, I just want to then, you know, just find out your headspace. Yeah. What are you looking to get out of this? Well, um, I'm literally trying to get peace out of how it's eating me inside and how they might find out in the future and it's just going to be a very major thing because like i've already took it too far to like five months so if i had to extend i feel like i'm just being a hypocrite and okay yeah all right and w what are your expectations out of this my expectation he has to like choose like it's either me or her. Okay, so you're giving him an ultimatum of being choosing, having an option. Correct. Okay, all right, no problem. No, we're definitely going to unpack this. Thank you very much, guys, once again for joining us, and thank you, Google, for writing to the show. Uh, but we are going to be hitting a quick break. Masbuya, la lela. It does not end here. If you end here, then what are you doing? It is the show called Istanbul on uh, the CMTV Live. Don't go. Welcome back from the break, my fair two. It is the show that makes things happen on CMTV called Is Tame. It is what it is before it was what it was. You have heard Ukuku's story. You have heard um, Untombi and their beautiful love story and how it began. But, of course, things went east and they went sour. But, of course, we are here to assist and to help to see if it is going to work out. We don't know. We don't know where Kuku's headspace is. But, of course, we are the show called Is Tame and we make things happen we're going to try to fix it. We are not ruining anything, eh? Nah. All right. Gugu, um, what is it that you'd like to say before we, we introduce your second? What is it that you'd like to say to uh, 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 Lento, Um. Um... Okay, what I want to say is I really, I didn't really do it to hurt you, you know. At the same time, I did want to tell you for like the whole time, but I felt like if I did, I was going to lose you, so yeah. But we have had this conversation and you was going to hurt me for you to find someone else. <clears throat> yes, that's the mere fact I kept it to myself and it kept on eating me to a point where I had to relieve it today. So why now? Uh, I can't take that much pain. It's, it's not working. So it's painful for you? Yeah, as a, as a guy because it's not really nice to play with two people's emotions when, you know, that's how they call us fuckboys, I guess. Oh. Is that what you classify yourself as no, a fuckboy? No, I said that's what they call us fuckboys when you do such. So I'm not saying I'm one, but I'm just saying... So you're a cheeser and a fuckboy? 
<laughs> no. That's what it is. No. Having that's... two women that don't know that's a cheater and a fuck boy, as you say. I guess you say that's 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 true, but mere fact is It is, it's true, it's facts. I guess you're right. I'm always right. right. Not the way. So yeah, no, definitely it's it's going to, to, to hit south and I can tell how disappointed you are. You know, I can tell how how very you look at the situation not in a very positive manner. Um, you're looking at it in a way that it's actually very sour, it's very dire and how you're going to go about it, I just want to find out quickly from you before we then introduce um, the second person. What is it that you're going to do out of everything that you're currently experiencing? I don't know what I'm going to do, hey? Right now my emotions and my feelings are up and down. So I can't wait to meet this person that he is so comfortable with sharing all his emotions. So okay. I can't wait to meet her. All right. No, I definitely understand. Well, there you have it, Buffetu. We are going to be bringing on to the second person that's going to be joining us onto the show. Of course, we are going to give a very warm welcome and we want to see what's going to transpire. Can we have Uayanda onto the show? Hello. Hi, Ayanda. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Ayanda. Thank you very much for joining us into our show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for Thank coming. You for You're very beautiful. Me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Ayanda, please kindly just tell us. Who is Ayanda? What do you do? Where do you come from? Does Ayanda have any kids? How does Ayanda know Gugu? Um, I'm Ayanda from the East Strand. Um, I'm a teacher. I know Gugu through the same area. I moved into his area just not so long ago. So that's how I know him. Oh, okay. That's, that's interesting. So you know him only by moving into the same area as Gugu. Or there's another way that you know Google. Well, we go deeper. Okay, please kindly share that. Uh, he's my boyfriend. Ah, Montwako. Okay, Montwako. That's interesting. How did you guys meet? We met Lang Shalakona. And he's definitely the guy that shows me around, you know. And then we just blended like that. Okay. Got to know each other like okay. that. And we met each and every other day. And we got to where we got. Huh. The rest mm. is history as well. Where well, no, Google <laughs> as a tourist, you are touring her around. <laughs> That's interesting. So you so so you'd say Uti, when now you've washed your way onto Easter and then he started giving you tours and yeah, ganja lo ganja. Yeah. So we should we should we should to get in the Jola department. You need to travel far to get what you want. So that's very interesting. That's very interesting. It's a beautiful love story. And do you know probably why you're here? No, but I'm saying, oh, I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. What's going on? Mundo, do you care to explain why is Ayanda here and why when clearly it was in Tombazan? When did um, you move to the East Rand? Because the last time I checked in Nechirena. Um, when did you move and why didn't you tell me about your move? I actually had a secret move because I wanted to, you know, isolate Be myself. To her. Anyways, um, you said how I met Ayanda, right? Eh, eh, we are not meeting. Ayanda has told us how you met Ayanda or yes. how she met you. So the main purpose is Ayanda asked a question: Why is Umuntu Ake oh. et Duze Gwa Um, Ayanda, this is um, Ndumi. Nah, this is Ndumi. And she's like my first girlfriend. I met her before you, before we had what we started. Yeah. She's your first girlfriend? Yes. Like, multi first girlfriend, I understand. As in, I am dating her. For how long have you been with her? Yeah. As long as I've been with you. So how is she the first? What do you mean, how is she the first? If me and her have the same duration of time, how is she the first? Well, she's not like the first, but I'm just saying like, 
I was dating Sample her. Sample English, first love, you love me. Oh, yes, first love, at sight. Yes. So why am I here? Um, confession. That you, this is your girlfriend? No, confession to tell you that You've I can't with be with me hurting anymore. people or you guys and acting like I'm loving you. Why aren't you answering my question? No, but you're not what? answering me. I'm, uh, like, my question is, are you here to break up with me and then be with her? Yes, that's what it's or, here to do, break up with no, you. No, but I'm not talking to you. I'm, but talking, I'm talking to, to him. you. So, Google, as I was saying, yes. are you here to break up with me and be with her? That's what he's here to do. Google. Google, do you care to answer that? <coughs> if Why I had to have her? like a very fast answer to that, it's going to seem like I just used her for whatever. And, <gasps> you know, but tell them, I did tell love her. You love her. I did tell her have that feelings for mm -hmm. you that's why everything escalated but at the same time i don't lie i still loved her more than you mm -hmm. yeah so um i'm not really here to break up with you because mm -hmm. i i actually excuse me just let him finish please this yes. is my man and you heard that he our, said on his first our, love we here because not our don't i don't share okay a google you were saying yes i was saying that i'm not here to break up with you I'm here to actually say that I have love for both of you. And I don't think that... Okay, it's a problem, maybe, I guess. It's a problem, definitely, to me. And I'm not going to share you would with you, anyone. Do, would you say she has a problem about it? What if she has to accept it? If she accepts it, then that's her. I that would means. just also just want to find out... Like, we're individuals. What do you think about what um, Google has said just now? I, I feel like if the lady was a bit more, you know, relaxed, I don't this was going to go relaxed. far. This is my but man. like, I can't like, have someone that's going to bicker with me the first moment I just saw her. I think that's where the problem is. Bicker. Like, who but are you? Don't I do just that. Need you don't give do that. Time. You need to I'm just not going to give her time. What time do you want me to give her? Are you this is probably why I'm you to know her. This is probably how And you know, at least understand of how I felt because of the situation. Right now, your feelings don't matter right now. Because you're telling me you want to take two of us. You have to pick one. And that's, you're going to pick me. That's we started looking for like places to move in together. Next thing you want to but bring you her in. Even but know you that do you remember that I, I, I met her the same time I met you. So. It doesn't matter. I think it does. No. You're not going to have two women at the same time. It's not going to happen. Um, Ndombi. Looking at the situation right now. I want to understand your headspace. I want to understand what do you think was the main reason Google had someone else, probably even before you, because it's five months each, all right? So I just want to understand why do you think, what do you think could be the main factor that probably Google wants to share this with you to say that you are not alone, so Ungaz Shai is full, but because you're not alone, there's someone else. What do you think maybe triggered um, Google to cheat? Because you did call it cheating in the beginning. Yeah. Lack of communication, maybe. I'm always busy, like literally always busy. I'm at work, I'm at school studying, like I literally don't have time. So when okay. I do give him my time, I like I'm just there one hundred percent. Okay. And you also just mentioned that you guys live at least far apart, however, and you didn't know that he, he was he was moving I'm very or he shocked moved. With that. Right? And how does that make you feel knowing that you're dating this person for a certain time and so. you don't know his movements, you don't know where he's at and communication plays a big role in terms of the way that you might be busy at all times and he's probably then lonely as he would say so what do you think maybe is something that you could do better on your side or how did you take the fact that you didn't know that he moved i was hurt about it i'm actually quite shocked that i found out from someone else that you're in the east right now all I the way from the south you, actually, when were you gonna tell me probably like you were never gonna tell me until I someone came out purchased and said, it like a week ago so it was a process of if so I you get decided the purchase, to just move on your own to no the you're not listening to me i'm saying 
if I got the purchase of the house, then this one is going to tell you that I have a new house. I can't tell you I have a new house not knowing I'm going to get it. But you already stay there. You have moved already. I needed time. And I was what time tell did you, you need? She needed time. I'm just like a phone call away. I know. I may be too busy, Don't but I'm always securing the bag. You know what I'm trying to do with my life? I do. I do. But yeah. Google? Yes. Yes share with us how are you how are you taking this it's it's really mm, it's kind of relieving at the same time because i'm talking what so the it's truth. relieving that you heard me ah, don't be, ah, 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 <laughs> ma, so okay yeah don't be all heads yes i understand i understand i want to also <laughs> listen to you Guti. what is it that you have to say what I have to say is I'm I'm having the relief of talking, you know, and spreading it out there. Not saying it's a good thing, not saying that everyone should, you know, think how I think. But as honest as I am an honest person, I'm not gonna hide my feelings for both people I have. I feel like I'm human, so yeah man, it's it's okay. it's just No, I understand human. I understand. Let's come to you. How are you feeling? What do you think of this? What do you think? Are you, are you thinking, Uguti, you will fit into uh, 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 his life while she's still there? Do you think it's the right thing? Do you, does it look right to you that Ukuku wants to have his temple with you? How are you feeling? What's your headspace? Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, the whole thing where he says, She's the first that gets to me because we've been in his life literally for the same time period. So but that does get to me because I feel like you would disrespect he me in, just for like in love with two days in Yana of her being mm -hmm. there first, do you understand? But like in general, I feel like I'm just down to earth. That's why he chose me and probably that's why I'm here, you know, because there's some energy that we feel. So the energy she has, compared to mine is different so you might like want to pick up about it but i'll just let him be you know and whatever he says he says if you want to move out or out of his life that's on you i'm not gonna move that's, out that's serious he's thing. forever gonna be in my life that you're the person you're that has to move out of his life i'm not gonna do that then we're gonna have a problem this is what i say too we are not gonna stay together where will you stay uh, what do you mean where will you stay? stay in his heart what do you mean in his heart where am i right now why am I here? Because yeah, I'm in his heart, which means I'm going to be there. You'll never be there. I'm Trust really me. Here. You just Trust found out now. He has to choose. He's not going to choose. I don't want choose. you to choose. I but don't that's the whole point of being here. It's not to choose anyone. But you're not going to have two women at the same time. I'm not going to accept okay. her. Okay. 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 You I guys are not married. But you we do don't know have that to be married, having. But this person is my person. Have you guys been intimate in this five months? Yes, we have. <coughs> okay. You the <coughs> sound you gave the <coughs> sound. It's 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 it felt as if like she's lying. No, she's not. Okay, so you have been intimate. Yeah. Have you been intimate with her? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you kidding me right do now? Do you guys use protection? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you do. Is this true? Yeah, that's that's true. Okay, are you guys using protection? Yes. Okay. All right, so at least you guys are safe, safe, right? Yeah. That's fine. And then since you had plans into moving into uh, the same house or maybe a same apartment with your guy, yeah. in this situation, do you think that she then can be able to be part of that? Because she might also probably want to rather have those certain plans in terms of moving in with him? No, she's not welcomed. Mm. Never welcomed. She'll okay. never be welcomed. Did you have those plans whereby you might move in with your guy? Well, I think five months is still too early to say. We were still enjoying each other's company, getting to vibe, you know. Uh, uh, hence, I say my energy and hers are way too different because she's already thinking, you know, in just five months. Life goals. So I'm just like there to say, as he said, he's got problems, he's got issues. That's where I fit in. So the whole moving in together, I think maybe we can get to like a year 
and I'm like, okay, fine, this is like my guy, you know. But for now, as I'm saying, I'm gonna stay and see what he brings. And the honesty that he brought me here, I am actually all for it, you know. Okay. I'm all for and it. And I'm definitely against that's it. That's on you. So I don't know. It's not gonna happen. You're not gonna be. In his but um, th- th- that's the thing. You, you're not understanding that he's trying to not gonna lie be to us. In his life. So which means he's, he's still gonna lies continue to lying to us you. for like five months. So what do you mean he's not gonna lie? I he's just, gonna continue lying. You're not understanding. You may that find <sighs> someone else and then bring us here again. Are you she, going to find someone else? That, you better not. That be killing myself now, hey. Okay. <laughs> so that's probably going to be the end here. All right, no problem. No, I definitely understand. Um, can we go into a quick break, yeah. have some water, come down, and then when we come back, we'll probably just find a, a solution to this. And then we'll probably just, you know, have your headspace, have your headspace, have your headspace. And if there is counseling that is needed, then we can have that. Is that fine? Yes. Okay. okay. Alright, but there to there you have it. We are definitely going to be going on to a very quick ad break. And when we come back, we are going to find is Kazululo on top of this, you know, Mjolo the pandemic We don't know what it is, but of course you can catch us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course your YouTube. Not forgetting the one, the only TikTok. It is the real Nizi Nazmik, the MC with the Hennessy Skim Sir Heist, the host with the most Danko. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends, who is the show that makes things happen. Slanganisa is in Tozamatando on CMTV. It is called Istembu. And we are here on the Mjolo the pandemic, of course. You saw what happened. You saw the emotions. You saw the uh, disrespect, so to say. You saw Wutu Omunye was calling Omunye with names and whatever the case may be. But of course, on this show, this is where things happen. And Sizo Slanganisa is in Tozamatando. It does not end here. If you ain't here, then what are you doing? Because this is a the show that makes things happen yeah guys um once again thank you very much for allowing yourself to you know share your story and what is it that you want to do so we are going to be bringing a conclusion to all of this yeah right um i think the first thing that i actually want to find out from you is how are you going to do it i mean you've brought them together they now yeah. know each other yeah. and what is your next step from here um i'd say my next step is to actually try um make them have that you know same love for each other you know even though it's not going to be easy it's not going to happen it's definitely yeah, not i know but thing is just to make them um more calm about the situation to not even think that he i'm cheating whatever so but what I want to do is to mashangani, so maybe then you don't even know, maybe when I or something. It's not going to so. happen, I'll never like her. <laughs> don't be wild, so. You know that, so I'll never like her. I Why? just don't want to see her in my space. She doesn't have to be in your space. Yeah, she like, doesn't she have to can, be in my she space. She can stay far, far away. Away and, from me, I never want to see her. But that so doesn't you're accepting me? I'm not accepting <laughs> you. Wait, wait, even though, but that doesn't mean I can't see her, right? You can do whatever you want. You're a grown-ass man. Okay, cool. So you're accepting me? I'm not accepting you. I'll never accept you. But you just told him I that I told he him he can do whatever he wants. Which He's means you're accepting man. me. I'm not accepting you. I are accept you. you. Accepting, are you accepting that you're already in this I situation? I accept you. Right? I don't mind you. Well, thank you for accepting me, it's but he can do whatever he wants to. Meaning you just accept don't me. in my space. And then... Uh, how are you? Uzo, uzo, pagang up. Uzo, pagang up. Ganjan, how is it going to go? Monday, Friday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday. How is it going to go? We'll figure out something. You'll figure out something. And then are they both going to visit La Pa Istrand? I best, I think that's not the best thing to do. What's the best thing to do? I feel like when she has not much to do at work, she can come visit me. <laughs> so it's got terms and conditions. Yeah, because I need to have food. Then Mina, if she has time, I'll come to her. Oh, so she will come to you. You yeah. will go to her. Oh, I'll that go means to you her, will or... join them. <laughs> no, she's never going to join us. I feel so like that's how it's going to happen in just, the so future. It's be a I just feel like, man, you also have the level. But I feel like the whole point, I'd like them to have both in my house. So. 
But no, it's okay. not gonna happen. I'm only I'm the only person that's gonna be at your house. All right. When? So we should have like a timetable. That's what you're saying. never gonna be at his house. What As do you he said, mean? He's gonna come visit you. Are you not listening to him? You can't you just, be there. Like, uh, I'll in a be fairy there. Tale and you're not seeing the. I'll old... be at his house and you won't. The fact that I'm Keep allowing him yourself to that. see you. Keep telling then yourself okay. that. it's okay. I've probably been in the house longer than you have anyway. No, you, you haven't. You didn't even know he was no, there. You yeah, Google. Yes, ma'am. Inda bazako lezine. Inda bazako for real. And then, um, Ayanda. Yes. What are your last words to your man? We got this. Mm. 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 Don't be. <laughs> what are your last words to your man? I love you. <laughs> Forever. Okay, so this we got this. This I love you, pinky swear forever. <laughs> wow, this was interesting. So I, my last question would be: Are you guys going to you? So you both stay. I just want to understand. As long as she just stays far away from me and I don't see her, but definitely in the future she will no longer be there. Eo, you stay. We're we probably going to be about my god this way too. I'm not going to sure. happen, I'm sorry. Are you helping us turn to Sarko? Eish, this is one. Eish. This is one. This is one. This is one. This is one. Okay, but for now, you're relieved. You're happy that they met and they are agreeing to staying with you. Yeah. I, do you know what you want? In my life? Yes. Everything. Okay. Never. I'm going to be a good one. Never. I'm why would I? Don't ninja. You must give. I need to you wanted. So you must give them what they want. Right? I mean, I've been doing it for five months. So. That's it. Five plus five is ten. But better. that's how we wrap it out on the show called East Temple. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next time. Same time, same place. It is what it is. Before it was what it was. It was the real Nizi Nazmik, the MC with the Hennessy skin so hash. And this. Beautiful love story, not tug of war, love of war, is how we end it on this episode. We will catch you next week, same time, same place. Mwah! Danko! Yeah.